Krabi is one of the coolest places in Thailand, if you know where to go. I've spent plenty of time here over the past few years and I've found that most travel guides actually miss out on some of the best things to do. So in this itinerary, I'll cover the best beaches, islands and temples to visit, the only two is actually worth doing, as well as the town's best nightlife spots. But first, you need to figure out where to stay. Well, luckily there is one location in Krabi that has easy access to some of the best beaches in the country, has the best range of accommodations, and is the place to enjoy the town's nightlife. The area I'm referring to is called Ao Nang Beach, and if possible, I try to stay either on the beachfront or on the street to lead off it. I've talked in other videos about the advantages of staying near Riley Beach. However, it's not connected to the road to the mainland, meaning you can only access it by boat which for the purposes of this itinerary will make it more difficult to reach some of the sites that we'll visit. So I strongly recommend staying on Ao Nang. Krabi is home to over 200 islands, which begs the question, which ones are the best to explore? The most popular islands to explore by far are the PP Islands, and hundreds of people leave the Krabi mainland each day to visit them. While the PP Islands are definitely worth visiting, by visiting from the Krabi mainland, you have to endure longer travel times in a noisy speedboat, which leaves you less time to explore each location. But what if I told you there was actually a group of islands that were much closer to the mainland that were equally as stunning and much less explored? The first islands you can explore on day one are home to some of the most fascinating beaches in the whole of Thailand. The island of Koh Gai and Koh Tup are connected by a white sandbar. At low tide, you can freely walk across these two stunning islands. Next, you'll take a short boat ride to the best snorkeling spot in Krabi, known as Koh Gai or Chicken Island. These coral reefs are home to a beautiful array of tropical fish, including parrotfish, angelfish, and clownfish. I've previously included this spot as one of my top 10 snorkeling spots in the whole of Thailand. Despite being one of the iconic images of southern Thailand, the next island is actually not very well known. It has a towering limestone cliff face jutting straight out the ocean, and it's home to untouched white sands. It's called Kopoda, and you'll feel completely alone exploring this island and its blue waters. The most convenient way to explore these islands is by joining an island hopping tour, which will take you and a small group of people to each of these islands. Tours usually start from Ao Nang Beach around 8.30 a.m. and can be done for as low as 1,300 Thai baht. If you're interested in working with me to plan, book and manage your Thailand trip, including hotel and tour bookings, get in touch with me from my website link below. You should arrive back on the mainland just in time to catch the sunset at Ao Nang Beach. But in the evening, it's time to hit the town. Probably the best and cheapest place to experience Thai food in Krabi is at Krabi Night Market. Here you'll be able to sample some of the most delicious Thai dishes, including noodles, fried chicken, curries and rotis, all while enjoying a few beers. Whilst Krabi is not known for having quite as wild a nightlife as places like Phuket or Koh Phangan, there is still plenty going on in the town. All of the best spots can be found in Ao Nang, there are plenty of bars along the beachfront to explore, as well as Soy RCA if you want to carry on further into the night. I've spent almost 10 years living in Asia, and in that time I've explored some of the best beaches the continent has to offer. For a long time I thought I'd seen it all, and I couldn't be surprised by beaches anymore. That was until I came to Krabi. Krabi is home to arguably the single best beach to explore in Southeast Asia. Its beauty comes from its towering mountain backdrop with stunning cliff faces at either end of the beach. The beach is Krabi's most iconic spot and it's known as Riley Beach. And as part of this two-day itinerary, I'll show you the best places to eat and drink, the hidden beaches and caves to explore, and how to spot some of the beach's most elusive wildlife. The thing that most people don't realize about visiting Riley is that the journey to get there is actually one of the most exciting parts of the trip. To get there, you'll first need to head to Ao Nang Beach, and from here it shouldn't be too difficult to spot a long tail boat ticket vendor, where you can buy a ticket for about 100 baht one way. Boats only leave once they've filled up, but this usually takes no more than 20 minutes. Once you're on the boat, you'll whiz past mountains and cliff faces as well as other boats for one of the most scenic journeys you'll ever take. So I'd recommend having your camera ready. The journey takes approximately 20 minutes to arrive at the beach. Once you arrive there, you can spend a few hours exploring the beach itself, but there is much more to explore here than most people realize. If you're hungry or need a few beers, the best place to grab something is on Riley Walking Street, a winding jungle path that'll take you past bars, restaurants, and coffee shops. But the reason I like Riley so much is that this is an adventure lover's paradise. There are some fantastic hiking routes around here, and inside the jungle, there's some amazing wildlife to spot. If you've already spent a bit of time in Thailand, you've probably already seen this type of monkey here called a macaque. But Riley is home to a much rarer type of monkey. They are much friendlier than the macaques, so far less likely to attack. They travel in troops, so you can try to spot them from a distance by seeing them play with each other in the tree branches. And they're called dusky leaf monkeys. And they can be identified by their black fur and white rings around their eyes and mouth. But if that's not adventurous enough for you, Raleigh is home to some of the best rock climbing spots in Southeast Asia. Half-day rock climbing activities cost around 1,500 baht, 
and it's possible to learn here even if you've never done rock climbing before. If that's not your thing, you can also explore inside the mountains. Diamond Cave will take you deep inside the mountains so you can admire the maze of rock formations that have been formed over millions of years. But there is one cave that holds an important place in Thai folklore and mythology. This cave is believed to be home to the spirit of Pranang, and fishermen and local people have come to this cave to make offerings to the spirit in hopes of receiving blessings for safe boat journeys. What kind of gifts do they give a sea goddess, you might ask? That's right, you guessed it, it's a penis. Pranang Cave is home to hundreds of wooden penis carvings, which are seen as a symbol as fertility in Thailand. If you keep exploring past the caves, you'll find a number of other hidden beaches to explore that most tourists are unaware even exist. There is one beach famous for its stunning mangrove trees that grow out of the salt water, but there's also much less explored Pranang Beach and Raleigh East to chill out in. Make sure to get the boat back to Ao Nang before 6 p.m., which is when most boats stop running, so make sure you're on one unless you want to spend the night on the beach. In the evening, it's time for something completely different. Krabi is home to one of the most unique shows in Thailand. The Blue Dragon Cabaret Show is an hour-long musical and dance show with a twist. All the performers in the show are transgender ladyboys known in Thailand as Katoi. This is one of the biggest shows in southern Thailand, and this one is known for its mix of Thai and Western cultures. To be clear, this is a mostly PG-rated show. Performances take place up to three times a night and cost 600 baht. But if you're looking for a more violent affair, Krabi is home at one of the bigger Muay Thai stadiums in southern Thailand. Tickets cost around 1,000 baht and fights take place every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. There is much more at Krabi than beaches and islands to explore though. On day three, we're gonna head inland to find some of the coolest sites in southern Thailand. The first thing you realize as you explore the mainland is that the landscapes are like nowhere you've ever seen before. The mountain landscapes that you saw at the beach continues further backwards and the drive to the first site will take you on a journey through the mountains. The first destination of the day is one of the most sacred temples in southern Thailand. As you arrive, you'll be greeted by a steep climb of 1,260 steps which is a challenging climb, but you can stop along the way to admire some of the shrines and monuments. At the top of the staircase, visitors are greeted by a large golden Buddha statue and a small pagoda. The summit offers breathtaking 360 degree panoramic views of Krabi's lush rainforest, limestone cliffs, and distant islands. The temple is known as Tiger Cave Temple, as in the past tigers were known to roam the area. And it's likely you'll get to see monks going about their daily routines at the top of the mountain. Not far from Tiger Cave Temple is a national park that will take you to a unique location unlike anything else in Thailand. In the middle of the jungle, there's a thermal hot spring. The Emerald Pool is known for its stunning turquoise green water. The water is crystal clear, making it a perfect spot to swim in. Right nearby the Emerald Pool though is another natural wonder called the Blue Pool. However, swimming is not allowed in the Blue Pool due to its fragile ecosystem. To access these pools, it costs around 400 baht. But one of the most unique experiences on the Krabi mainland will take you to the mangrove forests. And the best way to explore these areas is by renting a kayak. You can do this on your own or through a guided tour, which will take you through the mangroves, jungles, and rivers. After visiting Krabi, you're going to want to explore some of the stunning islands that Thailand has to offer. Watch this video here and find out the top 10 islands to visit in Thailand including the one island most tourists have never heard of.